Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're going to be looking at um, the 2019 AP Calculus BC free response questions. So we're looking at number two here, and this is the calculator portion. So as usual, um, I'm going to put any correction, if I make any mistakes, I'll put corrections in the description below, as well as will be linked to PDF solutions uh, for the questions um, in the description. So let S be the region bounded by the graph of the polar curve, this. Find the area of S. Well, first of all, I kind of well, I guess they gave you the bounds here. So the area is just given by this integral, one half r squared d theta. So in this case, I'll bring the one half out, and I'm going to integrate. The bounds are from zero to root pi to do all of it, and then r squared would be three root theta sine theta squared squared d theta. Okay, and so I haven't entered these into the calculator yet, but I'll kind of show you kind of what I'm going to do. Um, uh, I'm going to plot uh, the, this equation just 3 uh, square root of x oops what is that? delete square root of x times sine of x squared okay so that will at least put in there and then what I can do is then I can do my integral it's 0 to the square root of pi. There's y vars function y1 uh, squared over dx. This gives me 7.069. Okay, that's the area. B, what is the average distance from the origin to a point on the polar curve? Well, so it's the average value, right? And what is the distance from any point on the polar curve? The distance from the origin is just r. So I want the average value of r. So I'm going to do 1 over root integral from 0 to uh, root pi. Um, the average value of what? Just r. Okay. So this is math 9. I'm going to do 0 again, square root of pi. I guess I could have just uh, re entered in the square root of pi, there's y. Um, technically, I should do absolute value of, of y to be sure, because distance is not r, it's the absolute value. Not that I think, like, um, I think r is positive this whole time. Like, if I look at um to, to pi sine sine will be positive the whole time and square root will be positive but technically if i if it, if it ever went negative i would want to do the absolute value when i do this and then i'm going to divide this by the square root of pi so i get 1.58 so that's b c there's a line through the origin with positive slope m that divides the region S into two regions with equal areas, right? But do not solve an equation involving one or more integrals whose solution gives the value of m. So if I were to like cut it in half, I would say m. And in polar coordinates, a line that goes through the origin is just theta is equal to m. That's the equation of a line in polar coordinates. So it goes through the origin. It's just this angle, like what's what's true about this line is that its angle, all the points along this line have the same angle. And the, the angle is equal to um, the m let me see y over x yeah no theta is equal not m tangent of m oh sorry tangent of theta is equal to m <laughs> okay so we theta would equal tan inverse of m so we would integrate so then, then I'm just going to do uh, two different integrals. The integral of this area of this region and this area of this region, and then set them equal to each other. So it would be the integral from 0 to arctangent of uh, 1 half r squared d theta. And then that would be the integral from arctangent of m all the way to root pi, 1 half r squared d theta. So I can get rid of the one halves if I wanted to, cancel the one halves on both sides, and then plug in for r squared. So it's zero to tan inverse of m 
Actually, I think you could just you could just leave it like this. You could just so let me get rid of this. Probably answer just write it in terms of RF data. They know they would know what you had meant. That would be fine. Okay. So for k greater than zero, let a k be the area of the portion of the region S that is inside the circle R equals k cosine theta. Find the limit as a of k. K goes to infinity of a of k. So uh, this one you got to think about what a circle does. The, the the equation of a circle. It's gonna be a circle has a radius here. Like this is k over here and it has the radius k over two. Okay. And so what happens is as I increase the circle, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It always still stays in the positive quadrant quadrant though. And so as it gets taller and taller, what's the area of overlap? So first we start with this area of overlap, then this bigger area. Eventually it's just this area will be overlapped with that circle. Never on the negative portion, but just on the, the positive portion there. So the area then would just be the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of one half r squared d theta. Okay, so let me pick this one that I did before, and rather than go to the square root of pi, oh, I didn't do a one half. I wonder if that's. Hopefully, I won't mess up anything. Let me see. So I'm gonna delete this, delete that, and this would be second pi divided by two times 0.5. This is 3.324. Okay, and I want to check something. If I did the one half when I did this one, I think I did not. Because that was one, yeah, I was supposed to multiply that by 0 0.5. So that's why I messed up that one there. 3.534. Okay, there you go. I left out the one half when I did that uh, squaring, so I corrected that. I know if you're watching it, you probably be like, "Ah, oh, you probably caught it the first time." But um, anyway, uh, hope you found that helpful. Um, let me know how you did, and I'll see you in the next video.